Hi, my name's Leona from Supraconscious Soul, and this is your North Node in Taurus reading. So your North Node is in your astrology chart, so you can look up your freenatal chart and find out where your North Node is. So this is mainly for your North Node. So your North Node is your destiny or your soul purpose in this lifetime, where we're moving towards. And I've just seen, interestingly, we have the opposite energy underneath the deck here of Scorpio. So um, if you've been in, if you've had a um, Scorpio South Node, which is your opposite to your North Node, it means that you've lived many lifetimes as a Scorpio. And now you're, you're trying to create more stability. You're trying to grow because Scorpio can be about clearing and releasing. So we're looking at your North Node and how we can grow more in this lifetime. So Taurus North, North Node. What do you need to know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Taurus North Node. There we go. So we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Strength card. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Hanged Man. We have the Sun card, as you now. Distracting you, we have the Five of Cups. Helping you, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Your new focus is the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, as well as the Two of Wands. So I see a lot of progressive energy here. There's a lot of um, stuff coming in for you guys where you're needing to kind of... I, I forgot to say, I already pulled your Oracle cards just to save some time. But from your main reading cards, what have we... Oh, two of cups. You're being magnetically drawn to things that are for your highest good. It's about like the law of attraction this month. Things and people are coming into your life that are being drawn towards you. Now, I feel like there may be some fears for a lot of you. Emotionally, I think you're feeling a little bit sensitive. You're needing to kind of rein in your emotions this month. And that is so you can manifest this beautiful two of cups. It's like, or maybe there's some instance where you're being offered something and you're not quite feeling like you deserve it or you're not quite in alignment with it yet, let's say. It's like you're almost there, but you're, the, the goal for you this at the moment is to try and get into alignment with what is for you so so that you can magnetically pull things into your sphere okay so it's about duality needing to balance your masculine and feminine energies as well yeah because in some senses it's like you're almost needing to balance the inner this month in order to get the outer to come towards you so Taurus is all about finances, it's all about stability, it's all about being practical, um, productive, yeah? But I feel like you're needing to have faith this month in, in what's inside in order for that to come out, right? So that you can direct it. Because one of your first um, oracle cards is the flame. Now, this talks about a sudden eruption of energy. So it's talking about things are moving very fast in terms of stability for you. In terms, like you're going to get some success from stability. But you're going to need to kind of maintain this energy and use it wisely. Because lava, yes, it's destructive and it can kill everything off in the same way that a volcano will but what comes after that is very fertile so it's saying that the ground gets cleared by this volcano but what you grow after that is very fertile so it's about taking control of this inner energy so that you can use it in a fertile positive way but that is about your mind as well needing to be on the right track you're needing to have clear thought about where it is that you're going so that you can manifest. But it's like here, we're also taking hold of that energy with the strength card. We're using that energy within 
and we're not letting it take over us because with both of these cards there's this energy where there can be accidents there can be sudden violent outbursts there can be um massive kind of energy surges yeah that are unable to be dealt with sort of thing so you're needing to kind of rein that energy in internally so that you can then have something externally that you can um see that you can feel that you can touch yeah so it's it's needing to take hold of that there is a sense of healing that's being done around this as well i feel like with the volcano and the strength card there's a lot of you going through this kind of portal at the moment in terms of finances where yeah you're feeling like you're a little bit undeserving now in terms of your love you've got love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then you have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So here, yet again, we have this internal energy. So loving yourself first is going to create many, many blessings for you. And then you get to express that love. So in terms of relationships, it might manifest in terms of a relationship where you feel like this person's too good for you or maybe you feel like you're too good or but it's it's knowing having that inner self having knowing that no matter what you are it's about loving yourself from inside first now what's interesting is that we also got come out of the closet and betray you and this is talking about being authentic, loving yourself from the inside so that others can then see that and love you back. Yeah, but that is also how you're going to attract your abundance this month, loving yourself from the inside and then that being reflected back for you. You have also be calm. Trust comes from within. And this is your meditation for this month. So just be calm, be still, know that you have what it takes, know that this is where you're supposed to be, yeah? Um, it's almost like suddenly getting a lot of money and then not panicking about it. It's like just not going overboard about it, not um, overspending. It's about trying to maintain some kind of stability. Yeah, it could also be in terms of your energy. There's a need to kind of be calm and then um, have those points of stillness. Don't be just like going, 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 going. It's needing to rest, needing to to calm your critical mind as well. Yeah, don't give yourself high blood pressure here. But, um, but expressing it in a very creative way, in a very kind of passionate way. So it's about following your passions, yeah? Having that clarity to follow your passions, yeah? And not kind of holding yourself back emotionally or feeling like you're a victim or feeling like you're kind of gonna get washed up in this emotion, yeah? Because you have here, you guys, the issue is that you're the hanged man right now. So you're needing to look beneath the surface of things, yeah? You're needing to see something from a different direction in order to receive this enlightenment, yeah? It's also about needing to surrender. Needing to surrender to what's happening, yeah? Not trying to overly control it because the strength card is very much about the ego. Yeah. Um, I think here he's kind of humbled or he's kind of hung up or he feels like a little bit humiliated. So it's like you feel it may be in terms of work for some of you I'm getting as well. You may feel like there's been things that haven't quite gone right, especially with the volcano card there as well. Because remember I was talking about the earth kind of being overwhelmed by the volcano and then we have the fertility afterwards. So maybe some of you are kind of hung up waiting for this fertility to happen, waiting for this new beginning to happen, yeah? Because I feel like 
there's going to be this clarity. This is about tapping into your inner child as well for a lot of you. Having that inner fun, that inner peace, that inner... So imagine when a child is drawing a picture. They're not worried about whether, how we're going to receive that picture. They're following their abundance. They're following their passions. This can talk about love coming in, just feeling on top of the world. Yeah, but mainly it's about abundance and finding some kind of clarity out of that. So, we're not to focus on the past, yeah, because the past is just bringing regrets. It's We're needing to let that water go under the bridge so that we can tap into this new energy that's behind him here. He has those two of cups behind his back, yeah. That is behind his back. Oh, and I've just seen... The Eight of Pentacles as well. This is saying, continue to work on it. Continue to work on yourself. Yeah. This is about abundance at work. People seeing your work and re being recognized. And what is also interesting in this reading is that we have the Nine of Pentacles helping you. So as you see, as you put this work in and not focus on what could go wrong, we have the Nine of Pentacles where this is that kind of self-sufficient energy we're not letting another kind of relationship take us off balance as well because it's like if you're feeling like you're out of balance in your relationships or you feel like you're not deserving of your relationships they could also be that lack of abundance or that lack of connection there now i've also seen the mother card here a mother's love now a mother um, your mother-child relationship is very important in terms of your abundance. There's a need to kind of make peace with anything that has happened in the past. It could be that somebody's coming in to make peace with you as well. I'm getting here. Could be saying that a woman could be very um, in influential, but needing to also balance your, your masculine and feminine. It says a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So this is somebody coming in maybe to reassure somebody's inner child here. And as they do that, we have this connection to this abundance. Because not only do we have the nine, but we move forward into the future with the ten of pentacles. So now we're totally in alignment. And the ten of pentacles also can suggest family, lineage, heritage, um, ancestors. And we have children and mother here. So there's a need to kind of, if you're having problems with your mother, there's a need to find some balance there in order to connect to your abundance more freely. And also to your passions. Because here we have somebody who's like, all right, I'm no longer doubting myself. Yeah. I'm deciding, look, this is where I'm headed. Yeah. I've secured this in the earthly yeah, this is about the spiritual. So it's like moving up in sense, in a sense, going through a gateway for a lot of you. But needing to put whatever's happened before behind you with this energy. Needing to focus on making decisions. Needing to focus on your goals. Where are you actually putting your energy into? What is not worth putting your energy into? What needs to be secured and left behind so that you can broaden your horizons, yeah? It also talks about you then putting that energy in. This is a very sexual energy with the Ace of Wands. And we have a partnership here. It's almost like once you start to believe in yourself with this Ace of Wands, it's like the magician's wand here. Once you start to believe in it, you take hold of it. You stop focusing on the earthly things, the material things. And you're looking at where your passions are because that is where your finances are going to come for you this month, yeah? Working on your goals. <coughs> we also have breathe, which is saying the breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe spirit and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. 
So needing to calm any kind of anxieties, because we also have the Be Calm as your meditation card. Needing to just breathe and just do what it is that you do best this month. And I feel like you will have a lot of things being attracted to you. Now, the interesting thing is we have... As your last few cards, we had like four of these Ascended Master cards come out. So it's like, they was like, no, we're having four of those. I was like, yeah, why not do? No, they was like, we're having four. So you're needing to find the blessing in your current situation. We have Krishna here, who is talking about removing the obstacles um, from your love and your work life. Yeah, but I think a lot of that in turn is about your inner energy and removing the obstacles for yourself this month. And that is going to come from your internal emotions, from your self-care, from how you feel about yourself. It's almost like you're needing to have faith that, that this is, that it, you have needing to have belief in yourself, yeah, this month. You're needing to see that you are seeing the situation clearly yeah this is about insight we have the horus here and it's saying to keep going you're on the right track yeah follow your intuitive um nudges this month because the queen of cups is very very intuitive but i feel like it's got a lot to do with your passions and we have sudden positive changes coming because with the volcano card and this card we have pavrati is saying that there is there's going to be sudden change once you do the work from within. So I really do hope this has helped. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all the information is in the box below. I'm currently doing um, yearly readings or an overview of the year. So if you'd like one of those, get in touch with me. Um, take care. Stay blessed. Thanks for watching. Peace.